say after removing any excess fat from the chicken, the next thing I want to do is loosen the skin. That's between here and here. You could do it with a spoon or you could just do it with your fingers. This is where we're going to put some of our seasoning. Then, um, to make sure the rotisserie chicken is balanced on the spit, one suggestion is to use a lemon or a potato or an onion and stick it in the cavity. But before I do that, I'm going to season the inside with some salt and pepper. Put a sprig of rosemary and thyme inside. And then the lemon. I split it because the rotisserie does not have a point where I can stab the chicken. So hopefully that is going to help. And then I just take a spoonful and insert it over here and just smear it all the way around. Get that under each breast here. This flavors the uh, chicken inside and out. Before I put the seasoning on the outside, I want to trust my chicken. There's a couple of different ways of trusting chicken and I will show you one way that I like to do it. One way is to use twine. This is probably my favorite way because after practicing several different methods, this is the one I keep going back to. Finding the center of my twine, I'm going to put it totally under the chicken here. There's a neck under there, but I want to be careful. Make sure that's secure. This is the middle of my string here. Checking to make sure I have enough on both ends. So these are the under the armpits of the chicken. Then I want to wrap it around the shoulders of the chicken right here. And bring it across the wings. And since I'm bringing it across the wings, I want to keep the wings close to the body. This is one thing I like to do. Wrap it around twice will help the string stay in place. Get that wing tip under there. You want to trust this chicken so that everything stays close to the body and doesn't flap around while it's on the rotisserie. It kind of takes a little bit of finagling around here. But then you can start to see my lemon is coming out. So what I want to do is cross here crisscross from the back. And go up, over the legs. Probably just like the hips of the legs here. Want to crisscross the legs here. Keep everything inside. And Turn the bird over where you can see the tail and do the same kind of knot here where you wrap the string once and twice and you want to make sure this is as tight as possible here. Try another knot and cut off any excess. My next step here, unscrew it a little bit here until you can remove it. And this has a stop point right here, so I'm just going to unscrew that and tighten it here at the very end because I'm not sure how long this is going to be. I'm going to stick it here on between the ankles and There. I think I want to bring this in a little bit more because this is the side of the oven here. Unscrew it. Bring it towards the center just a little bit. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. There we go. Just have a little playroom here. Squish that meat on there as far as you can. 
The other end's coming out here. Square that up. Take a little bit of fussing and tweaking, but there it goes. I hear it's going on to the chicken. And right now, I'm gonna hold that in place and screw that in before the chicken slides around. So, there's the chicken. And now it's not perfectly centered this way, so I am going to adjust it by unscrewing this slightly sliding the chicken down a little bit, screwing it again, unscrew this right side there, and that looks a little bit better. Here's another great tip for seasoning your chicken. To begin your rotisserie chicken, you want to plug in your vortex and make sure it's five inches away from the wall. Then push the roast button. It will default to 380 degrees and display one hour. Then push start. Okay, it says to add food, so I'm going to get my rotisserie ready here. What I want to do is make sure I pull the red lever in. Make sure it gets into that black button there. Close it and it should start rotating. I want to make sure that it's even this way and it's also even this way. It doesn't look like it's bouncing around so make, make a complete turn. Looks pretty good. Okay, my rotisserie chicken has finished, so I'm going to take it out and test the temperature. Using my lifter, I'm going to get ready to push this lever in, make sure I've got that secure. Release. Now the thigh needs to be 180 degrees and the breast 160. So here is the thigh. 187, 188. Flip it over and test the temperature of the breast to make sure that's completely done. So the breast right there also says that 184. Resting is important for five to 10 minutes as not only does it increase the temperature of your meat, it redistributes those juices inside the meat fibers and so it makes a very tender, juicy piece of meat. The strings from the chicken here so I can remove the forks. To remove the forks, I want to unscrew and right here. And sometimes it's hard to take this out, so I just use hair pliers and wiggle it out or wiggle it loose. There we go. Same thing on the other side. Might be a little bit harder, so we just pull it right out. That works. You want to reserve all this juice right here for gravy. Doesn't that look beautiful? It smells amazing. Take a peek underneath this meat here. You can see the herbs and spices that I spread on there before cooking. You see how moist and tender and juicy this is. This is amazing. It smells so good. Let's give it a taste. Oh, 
you've got to try this. This is really, really good.